Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Mother. On today's episode we're going to be heading to the castle because we got into Magicant last episode. We've pretty much talked to everyone in the town that I know of. Keep in mind this is blind so if you guys are are you know suggesting I do this or that I'm working my way through through the game at my own pace. Um, I, I do record a few of the time so if I miss your comment or something like that I do apologize. Um, but it's alright. I'm experiencing it for the first time and I may go back and play it again at some point. This is the castle. It looks a little gross. It looks made out like it's made out of uh, conch shells, but whatever. The flying man's with me. This is a cool, uh, cool music track as well. Let's see what's in here. Hello. I wish I could hear the queen's song again. Queen Mary often has nightmares. She talks like she's punishing a naughty child, and then cries out about being afraid. Then she starts to sing a song, but only a short bit of it. The fact she can't remember it seems to bring her pain. Then she wakes up covered in sweat. Something really sad must have happened to Queen Mary a long time ago. It's a room of nothing! <laughs> Fabulous nothing, found only at Queen Mary's castle. Alright, there is... this is a big room. Hello. The Queen isn't feeling very well right now. So this is the Queen's room? Why is the Queen's room right here? I want to explore some more. Oh, there's... okay, hold on. There's a thing about this. I read it in the walkthrough. It was very important. It, it was like, um, in a specific room are six presents. Only opening only one will make the others empty. Well, this is three presents. This has got four. What the balls, man? I'll come back to these in a sec. I'm just really confused. All right, all of these open at once. It says the top left is actually the best one to get because it's a boomerang. Nintendo's party took the boomerang. Intense party? Okay. What does it do? I don't even know what it does. Handle with care. This is not a toy. Anyone can use this weapon. Oh, it's a weapon. Oh. Well, that's that's kind of neat. I'll save it for some t other time. So these can just be opened normally. Oh, I see. Uh, antidote. But you can't... Okay, so you really can only hold eight things. Jesus Christ. That is not very much stuff. Okay. Um. What about this? A megaphone. What the balls is a megaphone? <laughs> Don't know what a megaphone is. Uh, magic herb. I know what the ma I have those magic herbs already. It's that one's empty. All right, hold on. Let's. I want. I want to figure out what that is. So let's drop the medicine. Sorry, medicine. Just not important enough. Uh, megaphone. Nintendo party took the megaphone. So now we can figure out what it is at least, because I'm curious. Megaphone info. Magic Megaphone. Use this to scare enemies with your loud voice. Oh, but of course. Of course it does that. And this was what? A Magic Herb? Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, so now we gotta go check out the other room. It's got three presents in it. There's so much stuff here. This is... Flash Dark. Oh my god. There's so many items. It doesn't... We don't know what they are. And we don't know if we really need them. Huh. I don't have to have bread. Now I can figure out what Flash Dark is. I'm really playing this blind. Like, I, I don't have a problem using a guide, but I didn't have an item guide. And now I don't want to, like, bother looking it up. So I'm like, nah, I'll just, I'll just hold it. The exact opposite of a flashlight. That doesn't help me at all, game. What are these things? Antidote, I don't want that. Uh, a magic, and I don't want that. Okay. At, at some point, I am going to look this stuff up. Like, when, when when I have to make a decision about something and I, I don't know if it's really vital or not, I'll, I'll end up looking it up. Queen Mary, me and the Flying Man are here to see you after I talk to your friend. We all know you're not from here, but we consider you one of us just the same. With the Onyx Hook, you can come back here anytime. Don't hesitate to come visit us again whenever you're having a hard time. Everyone here loves you. Wow, this is like... weird fantasy land. Welcome, Ninten. Here in the land of Magicant, everyone is your friend, and you can have as much as you like of whatever you want. Oh, you want to hear my song? I'm sorry, I don't know why, but I just can't seem to remember it. I'm sure I'll be able to remember it someday. If I can just sing it again, something will happen. I just know it. Is that it? <laughs> I think that's it. Um, we talk to her about the melodies and leave the castle, and then we go to the wells. And this, this is it, folks. This is exactly where I stopped playing. I never found the well. It's actually a funny story, and it's it's driven some people online crazy because they're like, "How how could you not find the well?" And I was like, "I I couldn't find the well." 
They're like, no, but seriously, like, how on earth did you not find the well? And I'm like, I couldn't find the well. Because, like, I found wells, but I couldn't go in them. Anytime I went over, that nothing happened. How do I get into the well? I found an enemy. A bonus swoosh suddenly attacked. Okay, so let's kill the bonus swoosh. And let me see what this thing says. Uh, walk east and then south to find a collection of wells. Walking on one of them will drop you into a series of blue caves. Okay, well, that's one well. One of these drops me into a thing. <laughs> this seems very familiar. Oh god, the nightmares. This is... Uh, this isn't pr exactly why I stopped playing this game, but at the same time... Oh, it's right in the front. <sighs> I once spent like 40 minutes trying to find the well, and I must have just skipped it. Anyway, it says, uh, follow the staircases right, left, left, right. Okay. Um... Does this count as a... Crap. Papa Swoosh suddenly attacked. I was wondering if that thing was counted as a staircase. Let me kill this thing. It's dead. I did it. I'm glad Flying Man's with me. Is this a staircase? Okay, right, left, left, right. It says you'll be in a larger room. Okay. And apparently there's a dragon somewhere? What the bot? There's a dragon? <laughs> I didn't know there was a dragon. It says you can't wake up the dragon right now, though. Uh, found a magic herb. I've just been avoiding those. Um, looks like we can't go up. I thought we could, but I guess we'll just go down. So down we go. Oh, there's the dragon. He's asleep! He's a sleepy dragon. So we'll go over here. Okay. Ulrich. <laughs> okay, Ulrich. Let's take Ulrich out. Flying Man is helping me out. PK Thunder Alpha. Who's it gonna hit? Took, hit the flying man. I don't know how much health that guy has, so hopefully he'll last a while. Because it would really, really suck if he died. Okay. Uh, Nintendo leveled up. Level 16, as if I'm not already a high enough level. Uh, the guide says we can't wake up the dragon, so we have to leave him be. Try to go down the grotto you find here and fight a fish. Alright. Because at this point, you got to remember, at this point, I, I have no idea. I've never been this far. I'm in completely uncharted territory. Uh, the only way I know what lies ahead is stuff I've heard from Starman and images I've seen online and things like that. So this is going to be an adventure. And also, these are the best <laughs> enemies ever. Like, what the crap is this thing? I'm glad that he's hitting the Flying Man and not me, but I'm, I think if he hit me with Thunder, it would reflect, right? Because of the badge? Uh, this is a size... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm kind of in a pickle. Kind of in a pickle. I've got a bunch of stuff. I don't know what it does. I'm going to have to go to a guide. Please hold while I figure out what these items do. So a few minutes later, I am now educated a little bit. Um, first things first, I got rid of my t-ball bat and equipped the boomerang, because the boomerang is apparently equipment, and it's a lot better than the t-ball bat, so I threw that away and I'm using the, uh, the boomerang. Um, the other thing is that, uh, the, the Flash Dark blinds enemies, apparently. I'm get that's what I read online. Also, the PSI Stone recovers psychic points and can be used multiple times. And, uh, I'm not sure what the Megaphone is because the guides are all for Earthbound Zero and not Mother, this new translation of Mother One. Um, but from what I'm guessing, the Megaphone is an item that keeps enemies away, because Mao says that there was an item in Magicant like that. So I'm guessing that just having that in my inventory will do it. I can't equip it. I also have no idea what the Ocarina is for, but whatever. Whenever I can get back to a point where I can give people items, I'm probably going to get rid of the uh, Diary and maybe the Ocarina. I don't know. Anyway, let's pro... <sighs> Friggin' Seed. Bonus swoosh! More like bonus death. Jesus. I'm level 16. I'm doing 53 damage normally, which is impressive. Dragon. Dragon is asleep. Bye, dragon. Wee. Grotto. Oh, nope. Cave Master suddenly attacked. Let's attack the Cave Master. 46 damage. Flying Man attacks. 7 damage. Cave Master attacks. 22 damage. Flying Man get tired. Oh, he died. I knew he'd die eventually. Well, now we can figure out how much damage these guys do to me. 
Oh god. Wow, they're they're starting to hurt me a little bit. It's not that great. Okay, Master was defeated. I did it! Yay! Fight went up, and I'm level 17. Now, apparently, there's something I really need to get that's not mandatory, but would help me a lot. There's an item around here called the Onyx Hook, which will take me back to Magikin. Is this it? Oh, I found it. <laughs> but I can't hold any more stuff. Oh, yes, I can. I promise you I can make room. M maybe. Uh, let's get rid of this, I guess. Drop. Onyx Hook. Um, with the Onyx Hook, from what I understand, uh, we can return to Magikant anytime we want. I don't know what the info says. You can return to Magikant from anywhere using this. And that's obviously useful for a variety of reasons. Um, if we can go to Magikant, we can get free healing. They have, like, really good supplies there you can buy. Um, also, from what I understand, we're going to be going back to Magikant for story purposes several times. So, that's good. Anyway, um... It says, walk counterclockwise around the main room to find a man guarding the exit. Okay. So... Oh, there's another item. Basic sword. Oh my god. Basic sword? <laughs> is, it, uh, is that an item I can use to attack with? Hold on, I gotta find out. Apparently it is a weapon, but it is for Teddy. So, I'm just going to leave it in that box. Apparently later we're going to be back to kill the dragon. And I'm assuming Teddy will be with us. And at that point it'll be wise to open that and let him get it. I guess. In the meantime, I'm going to work my way through all of this bull crap. Um, as long as I don't run into any big enemies, I should be alright. That one guy did 12 damage and it was a combo attack. So he almost hit me again. Uh, I need to be careful. I don't really have any other equipment other than my <laughs> my boomerang. I'm not. I have the easy ring on, but I don't have any other like you know defensive equipment. They were selling some some stuff in Magikant, but I didn't buy any. So I might do that in the near future, so I don't die. Just a thought. Uh, this way, because it is the only way. Excuse me, sir. I'm a forgotten man. Might as well not exist. You didn't have to notice me, you know. Just go ahead and ignore me. I'm a nowhere man. It's best if you don't give me words of kindness. I can't live on like this. If I start to miss people... My conversations are always a monologue. I've always been alone from the moment I was born. Good luck, bad luck. None of it makes a difference to me. Sometimes just breathing is almost too much for me to handle. Why do you insist on talking to me? Are you a forgotten man too? No. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yep. Now just hurry and ignore me already. Okay. Good. Thanks. <laughs> and that was that. Where am I? Uh, let's see. Exit the cave, walk north till you get to Marysville. Is there something south? Nope. <laughs> Oversight. Uh, up we go. Going to a new town. This is exciting. Little Saucer A, Little Saucer B. Uh, this is a new town I've never been to. That means people to talk to, which is exciting. It's one of the best parts of the Mother series, is the very uh, interesting, unique, and often humorous dialogue. So, a town is good. A town is something I want to see. Ninten leveled up. Fight went up to three. Speed went up to three. Wisdom went up to two. Strength went up to two. Got 3 HP. I'm only ever really concerned about HP and PP. I mean, I, I like getting stronger, but I'm not having any issues anyway. I, I learned new PSI. Healing... I think that's the one I learned. Healing Beta. Healing Beta cures paralysis. So I shield 1. Offense up. Defense up. Quick up. I don't know that one. Quick up. Quick up. Quick up. Raises an ally's speed. Okay. It's been a while since I've looked into PSI, because I usually just beat people to death with my hand and then use life up. Uh, let's see. Nothing over there. I'm gonna get hurt by this lynx! A lynx and a skunk. That's such an unlikely pair. It seems like... It seems like a good idea for a cartoon. Nickelodeon, get on it. Buy the rights to lynx and skunk. It seems... It seems like it would make a fantastic show. It'd be right up their alley. Alright, done with that. I learned another one? Nintendo, it's your dad. 
I realize this isn't any of my business, but why don't you take a little break? No, I'm, I'm good, Dad. Thanks. Uh, I guess the Earth is in danger and all. Good luck. So they do that even in this game as well. So we can't go this way. Continue on north. Eventually, we're going to be able to go to wherever Marysville is. It may not even be called that in this game, because Nintendo of America changed so many of the town's names for no reason. Let's take out these skunky skooks. Sk <laughs> not the real word. And you're dead. I wish a flying man would have lasted a little longer. I was a little sad. Too bad I can't like give him equipment to make him a permanent uh, party member or something. Where the balls is this town? Are we. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think I saw it down here actually. I don't think I was crazy. I almost. I feel almost positive I saw it. Wolf A. Wolf B. There's a lot of enemies. A lot of different sprites. There's been a few recolors, because that was a thing with uh, RPGs back in the day. They still do it today. But especially back in the day, if they wanted to make more enemies quickly, they would just change the palette. And uh, I noticed that with the centipede and the bipede. I don't know if they've done it with any of the other enemies yet. Okay. I actually don't know if Mary Marysville is down here. The thing just says go north, but now I'm curious what's down here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. If I if I go all the way down here, it's not down here. Then uh, I'll just cut to me being back up into the town, so we don't have to watch me fight skunks all the way uh, north as I go up there. Nintendo the skunk killer, you won against skunks. I <laughs> hope you're proud of yourself, you jackass. Level 19. Wisdom up one, two, three, 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 three four, so up by three. All right, that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice boost. It's just a shame that I don't really get to experience it until I have, uh, you know, actually rested in some way and actually restored my health. Where the balls am I? Okay, well, first things first. Uh, this is the wrong way. The town is not called Marysville. The town's called Thanksgiving. But there is a little black dot. And little black dots are points of interest, I think. Right? Or was that like just where I came? That maybe that was like the the thing I came out. All right, piss. All right, let's go up here. There we are. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was right there. Like if I just would have went up. Oh, jeez, I feel stupid. Anyway, welcome to Thanksgiving. Mother's Day and Thanksgiving. The piss are we? Where is this? Hey, I haven't seen you before, kid. Do you even go to this school? Uh, no. Show me what you have. You better not be carrying anything dangerous. Oh, that was, that was mean. Uh, do you even go to the school? Yes. Oh, okay. Just don't run in the halls. And uh, you can hear the music in the background. That same music was actually played in the Game Boy camera, which is really cool. Look at all the kids. There's kids everywhere. You're late for class. Sorry. I I don't actually go to school because I, I don't like it. Have you played Dragon Quest IV? I'm still having a hard time with the third one. Ah, funny. I can't get past you. There we go. Did you see a strange teacher in the science lab? Because I did. Okay, I, I'm sure I have a, a specific thing I'm supposed to do. Um, actually, on the thing, it says, Go to the school, Maryville. Talk around to people to learn about a kid named Lloyd. You may get sick from talking with some kids. <laughs> Why? Why are some of the kids sick? I can't do a cartwheel. I'm sorry. Excuse I need to talk to... I need to talk to you. It's vital. Also, I feel I'm, I'm much larger than you. I still don't really know how to carry numbers and subtraction. Excuse me. Any first grader can do a cartwheel, wouldn't you say? Aw, uh, that's what you're saying. You make in front of your, your classmate. That's not very nice. Jerk. <laughs> the school janitor has the key to the roof, but he won't give it to anyone. I heard that Lloyd ran off with some explosives. <laughs> He's in big trouble if a teacher finds him. I'm Susie. I won the Miss Middle of Nowhere pageant. Do you think I'm pretty? Sure, Susie. You're really cute, too. I get that all the time. Do you like my hat? Is there stuff on the right side, too? Yeah. This is a nice big spot with lots of people to talk to as I approach the one room with nothing. Here's someone. I can treat minor injuries here. But if you're sick, you'll need to visit an actual hospital, okay? Yay, I'm better. Oh, and you refilled my health. Not my PP, but my health. Well, that's good. That's something, at least. Someone's in here. Wait, this isn't a bathroom. I have my hands full at the moment. Come back later. That's weird. No running in the halls. Ah, I'm doing it anyway. I'm pretty sure in Mother you actually couldn't run. I, I think they added that in Earthbound Zero. I'm not sure. 
The door to the roof is locked. I was planning to ditch class and listen to the radio on the roof, too. Weren't you? Yeah, man. Jeez, you don't talk much, do you? <laughs> I hear strawberry-flavored tofu is all the rage in big cities. I'd love to try some. I need to talk to your teacher. The gym teacher hit me. Maybe I should drop out and become a thug. Oh, wait, you're a student. Uh, let's see here. How about you? Don't assume I'm an ordinary old guy, is what my dad likes to say all the time. I was going to say, your sprite is not indicative of an old person. Getting lost in your own school? Can you get any more lame? I'm hungry. Story of my life, kid. No one in here. No... Uh, oh, a piano. That you... That you can't play. Oh, it's a music room, so that I guess that's interesting. Uh, ooh, presents! Nintendo, open the present. I found a slingshot, but you can't hold any more stuff. Nintendo found a cracked bat. Well, I definitely don't need that. And I think the slingshot is definitely weaker than what I have. Uh, la la la, into the wide blue sky. Dandelion fuzz does fly. La la la, I love music more than anything else. I can't... <laughs> can't get... There we go. I bet Lloyd will have a computer-related job in the future. Shh! Keep quiet in the library! Uh, achoo! So, now I have a cold. Son of a gun. The screen flashes as I walk, and I guess I take one HP of damage every time that flashes. You've been picking on that weakling Lloyd, haven't you? I was teasing that wimp Lloyd just now, but he got away. Huh. Alright, well, I need to probably go see that lady downstairs. Where, which room was she in? The first room on the right... No, second room. Second room. Uh, can you fix me? Because I'm, like, dying. You're sick. Am I sick? I'm still... S ah, that sucks. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Seems that old Ninten has a cold, so he's going to have to visit the hospital. But I'll take care of that between episodes. And next episode, we will be as good as new, and I will continue to explore Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to tune in next time for another exciting episode of Stephen Plays Mother.